Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I wanted to just do a quick little kind of like haul beauty chat type video. I didn't really realize that I had started accumulating a few items <laughs> that I've purchased or was sent to me or I got from the boxy pop-up, you know, just different kind of goodies here and there. And I was in the process of like, you know, putting my stuff away, wanting to use it. And I said, you know what, let me do a quick little haul video so I can show you guys the latest items that I have picked up and, you know, just show you what is out there just in case you're curious. So yeah, that's all this is. It's just a quick little haul video and showing you guys my latest purchases. So let's just start with this stuff that I have right in front of me. Um, I did purchase some items from Makeup by Tammy. Tammy has, you know, a YouTube channel. If you don't know who she is, then you don't know what you're missing. You are missing out. But she has a YouTube channel, uh, Instagram, TikTok, all of that good stuff. Wonderful, funny, beautiful content creator. And she has some makeup items on her website. So I did pick up some items to play with. Um, you guys probably know I do love playing around with like water activated liners, cream liners, gel liners, all kind of stuff like that. So she does have these this set of liner brushes on her website and they're like all different sizes some larger some smaller you know very very thin pencil thin so these look amazing to try out and use for different type of liquid and water activated liners so I cannot wait to try out these different shapes and sizes and see what I could do with these but um, it looks like a set of nine, unless I lost one, <laughs> but it looks like it comes in a set of nine. I don't recall the price on these, but everything on her website is super duper affordable. So yeah, this is from Makeup by Tammy. I also picked up this brush set from Tammy's website. This is a 10 piece brush set. The handles are just absolutely gorgeous. I'm sitting here fumbling because I've taken them all out of the packaging and everything, but look how gorgeous these crystal handles are. So she has these like ombre ones on her site and then she also has clear ones, but these are just super, super nice. As you can see, there's eye brushes in there as well as complexion brushes, powder brushes, all that good stuff. And it also came with this cute little makeup bag. Okay, how cute is this? I don't know if you can see because of, you know, the holographicness, but it does say Makeup by Tammy on here. And it is just so pretty to go along with these beautiful brushes. So yeah, I haven't played with these yet, but I definitely am going to very, very soon. Also from her website, she does actually have cake liners on her site. And I grabbed this cute little pastel bundle. She sells them individually, but also has, you know, like little groups or sets that you can buy. So this is the bundle that I bought. As you can see, beautiful pastel colors. It has like peach, green, yellow, pink, and lavender. So they're all super gorgeous. And I cannot wait to do like some pretty Easter eye looks with these graphic liners so very very cute and you know with the cake liners you just activate them with water so you just put a little water in there swirl your eyeliner brush in there and you're good to go so can't wait to try these out as well and then the last thing i bought from her website was some of her lashes i don't recall if i picked every single style i have five here so i don't know if she has five or six but these are the ones that i picked up so this one is tony so this is what tony looks like very very pretty this one is ava i like ava ava is very gorgeous very pretty this one is girlies <laughs> and this one looks a little bit more aggressive still very pretty this one here is mia and that's what mia looks like very pretty i like that as well not as you know as thick you know a little bit more thin i guess or see-through 
And then this one is Nicole. So that is what Nicole looks like. So yeah, these are all super duper cute and I cannot wait to try these out as well. Like I said, check out her website because she has some really cute things on there. Now these are just some singles that I actually just got in the mail like yesterday, I think. They're from Magical Makeup, but on their website, I just put them in this little, you know, magnetic palette that I got from Coastal Sense. I love these things, you guys. But yeah, so it says Magical Makeup, and then it also says Sparkle Fairy or Sparkle Fantasy. So I'm not sure, uh, you know, they, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if they have, they have two names or what, but I know them by Magical Makeup. This is how I found them on Instagram. But as you can see, a couple of mine got a little bit dinged up um, in transit or in them constructing them. Small UK-based indie brand. Very, very beautiful shimmers. And I saw them on Instagram and wanted to try them out. So I did order some. It didn't take too, too long for them to come. Maybe a couple of weeks, I think. And these are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm not going to swatch these right now because I do plan on doing like a swatch party of some of my more recent single shadow purchases just in one video. And plus these are super duper glittery. <laughs> okay, very glittery. And I don't feel like having glitter everywhere. But they're so gorgeous. They're multi-chrome. Um, see, now looking at them in the camera, these two look green. But like if I turn it to the side, let me see if I can, do you see how it kind of shifts to like purple and like an orangey pink shade? And then this one right here, it looks like a beautiful deep, you know, kind of purpley shade. And then when I turn it, you see how it turns green? So yeah, this one down here, it's like pink toned. Then when I turn it, you see how it turns like orangey gold? So yeah. Definite multi-chrome shift in these shades. But yeah, they're from Magical Makeup and they're absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I have grabbed a few things from ColourPop, of course. <laughs> um, this I already showed in my Shop My Stash because I did pull it from my Shop My Stash. This is part of their Make It Black campaign. And this one is called Make It Fearless. I love the color story of this palette. It is so gorgeous, but I did pull this from my Shop My Stash, so I have to use this within the next week or so or before my next Shop My Stash, so I will be doing a look with this, but it is so pretty. I also picked up a couple of the Super Shock Shadows from the Make It Black campaign, and these are the two colors. They came like in a little um, two-pack. This one is called main attraction and so that is what that one looks like really pretty kind of like gold tone shade gorgeous and this one here is called millennium so yeah these came in a two pack so that is what that one looks like oh that one is really really pretty and the other um, little palette that I picked up from ColourPop was this one. This, I think, was one of their little Valentine's Day, you know, palettes. This one is called Melt For You. And I picked this one because I really, really liked the tone in these shades down here. It has more of like that kind of peachy, corally type pool as opposed to just straight pink. So, yeah, I really, really like it. Thought it was pretty and it didn't have a glitter in it, so... This is the one that I chose. Thought it was gorgeous. I also picked up a couple of makeup obsession palettes. I have another one actually that I bought, but I used it. So it's with my shop, my stash. It's the one that I used to dupe the uh, Urban Decay Wild West palette. <laughs> so that's with my shop, my stash. So that is another one of these palettes that I bought. But this one here is the LA Dreams. They're not new, but they are new to me. <laughs> so this is what the LA Dreams looks like. I really, really love this color story, this whole kind of color feel and everything. Very pretty, very reminiscent of another palette that I bought from Morphe, the 25S, as well as a palette that I made myself with my singles. <laughs> so yeah. This is what this palette looks like. Very pretty. 
And then this one is the Crystal Waves. And this one is very, very pastel. And these two palettes are ones that are not magnetic like their other palettes. So you can't take these shadows out, but they're still really, really pretty color stories. And I don't know, like I said, I'm kind of feeling like in the Easter spirit right now. So kind of already being drawn to these light beautiful pastel type shades and shimmers so yeah if the quality is like the other palette that I used I'm really excited to try these out because they're both very very pretty color stories now I did also grab some of these palettes from Revlon they were on sale on Ulta I don't know it was like buy two get one I guess they were trying to get you to buy all three <laughs> But yeah, these are the Revlon So Fierce palettes. Very cute. This one is called Clapback. They've been out for a little while, so they're not new. But I really wanted to try them out. I don't typically buy a lot of, you know, your typical drugstore brands, unless it's like foundation or something like that. I really don't buy eyeshadows from like Revlon and CoverGirl and stuff anymore. But I really wanted to try these out because they look gorgeous. This one is called The Big Bang. The Big Bang. Oh, she looks so pretty. Look at her. That's gorgeous. And then this last one is called <laughs> Slight Flex. Really? I like that name. Slight Flex. So that's what she looks like. That beautiful green in there. So very pretty. So if you guys are familiar with me or my channel, you know that I really, really like Cara Beauty palettes. I like just the whole aesthetic of the brand, the packaging, the designs, the color stories. So I did grab a few <laughs> a while ago. You know, I ordered these a while ago, but these three are cute little small palettes. You can see how small they are. But very, very cute, have beautiful women on the covers. So this first one here is called La Chica Enamorada. And I know I showed this in my Valentine's Day palette video because I remember trying to say that. Enamorada, enamorada, La Chica Enamorada. <laughs> so hopefully I said that right, but she's so pretty. But this is what the palette looks like. There's a mirror in here, as you can see. But this is what she looks like beautiful pink purples and you know warm earthy neutrals this one here is called la reina azteca la reina azteca gorgeous and so this color story there's a mirror of course but this color story is the green and orange i love those colors together with the red there's some brown in there yeah this one is very very pretty and this one is called La Dama de Flores. Oh, look at that. Cute. And this color story, of course, is one that I really love because it has the blues, you know, like the teal, turquoise shades. And it also has like some beautiful orangey, just kind of summery shades. So very, very pretty. I like this one. Well, I like all of them, but this one I really, really like. This palette here is called The Fantasist. And this one is also pulled for my Shop My Stash. So I will be using this shortly. So I did already show it. It does have all the glitters and the beautiful jewel tone shades in there. I really, really like this palette. Can't wait to use it. This one here is called Cara Duo. Now, is that the name of the palette? You had me at Aloha. Okay, so this is one of the duo palettes, but it's called You Had Me at Aloha. And this is what this palette looks like. Look how pretty. Yeah, so just like with that Makeup Obsessions palette that I showed that had like the pinks and the blues and the turquoise in there, same type of feel. I should do a video comparing this color story, quite honestly, because I think I have Quite a few palettes with this type of color story as well at this point very pretty and then lastly i have this desert oasis palette from cara beauty i like their packaging because it's so sleek and clean you know and then the other ones have the beautiful ladies on them 
but and their palettes have mirrors as well so this is what this palette looks like if you can see those colors there so it's a little bit more muted a little bit more earthy but you have just the most gorgeous just kind of deep rich grungy type shades in here and then beautiful shimmers to go along with them and there's no glitters in here all the shimmers are actual shimmers so i really really love that these shades down here make a beautiful eye look. This one here is like each row. You can just do an eye look with each row and it's so gorgeous. So I really, really like this. Okay, so like I was talking about before, this is that Morphe palette, the 35S Sweet Oasis. As soon as I saw this palette, I was like, oh my gosh, that color story is gorgeous. And I immediately like <laughs> tried to create it with my singles. And just had a lot of fun playing around with my singles coming up with my own color story. But this one is really, really pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's like, seems like this whole kind of turquoise thing and the beautiful pinks is kind of like a thing right now. Even with the grays. I'm seeing more grays in different palettes as well. So, yeah, I love, love, love it. This is something I can definitely be really creative with. It is just it's so pretty. Now, this isn't a palette, but it is something that I purchased. I don't even have the box because I was playing around with it already. This one is a bronzer and blush duo compact from Ofra. It's called Squad. It's a blush bronzer duo. So yeah, this is what this looks like. I saw this on the gram and then I saw my girl Medea J use it and I was trying to really fight it I was like nah I don't need that I don't need a blush I don't need a bronzer but it's like when you see a brand come out with something that's nice and deep and rich enough for us to use I was just like I gotta try it and it looked beautiful on Medea J so I just went ahead and was like let me just go ahead and bite the bullet so I bought it and it is gorgeous um I will go ahead and swatch this for you guys because I've already used it. So yeah, I'll swatch it on my skin tone so you can see what the blush and bronzer looks like on my skin tone. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that blush color. That is right up my alley. So, so pretty. I also picked up this Wild Child palette from ColourPop. I love the packaging on that. It's so cute. And then the box. Some boxes I keep, some I don't. This is one that I actually might keep. But yeah, this one is just kind of like a really gorgeous deep brown. It just makes me think of like coffee, cocoa. It's just gorgeous. It's something that can be used for deeper skin tones, you know, from ColourPop. Okay, so... Yeah, I thought it was gorgeous, so I went ahead and picked this up. Also, I finally, <laughs> finally received my Butte Bean and Shroud collab palette. It's freaking bats. I didn't think I would ever receive this, but it did finally show up. So this is what this looks like if you haven't seen it. If you don't know who Betty Jean is or Butte Bean, absolutely amazing amazing youtuber on the tube um she does a really beautiful eye look she does all kind of makeup videos very nice instagram page so check her out betty jean her name is butte bean and this is her collab palette with shroud um yeah i don't know if you'll be able to get your hands on this it took me a good four months to get mine <laughs> so yeah but i'm glad it finally showed up this is another collab palette. This is Kaleidos and Angelica Nyquist. Um, sure I'm saying that wrong, but yeah, this is Angelica's palette with Kaleidos, the Club Nebula. I did order mine and it showed up. And this is what this palette looks like. Another absolutely gorgeous palette. I really like Kaleidos shadows, so I'm pretty sure that I'm going to thoroughly enjoy this palette as well so got that i also grabbed this serendipity palette from alien cosmetics um i went back and forth on whether or not to get this palette for so so long but i did go ahead and decide to grab it on you know one of their latest pre-order runs 
So yeah, I think it's kind of cool. I do. The packaging, it's very interesting, very different. So I like it. And then I also like the colors, the color story that's in here. It's very unique, eclectic, very different. And I wanted to try out their formula. I don't have anything else from Alien Cosmetics. So I'm really excited to try this out. This is part of my Shop My Stash as well. So I need to get on it. This is pretty new to my collection. This is from Odin's Eye. This is the Norns eyeshadow palette. I just picked up the large one. I didn't get any of the smaller ones because I felt like I didn't need all of that. So I just grabbed the large one because I did want to try out their formula as well. I felt like the color story of this palette was one that I can actually get with. And then when I found out that there weren't any glitters in here, that these shimmers are all actual shimmers, I was very excited to try it. So yeah, I went ahead and grabbed this and yeah, I'm really looking forward to testing this out. When I was placing my Alien Cosmetics order, I forgot that this is from them as well. What palette is this? Um, Sheesh, this doesn't even have a name on it. I'll put it on the screen because I don't remember the name of this palette. But yeah, I grabbed this one when I got my Serendipity palette. And I really, really fell in love with the colors in this palette. So this is right up my alley, as you guys know. This palette, just the feel of it kind of reminds me of like a Juvia's Place palette for some reason. Maybe it's the larger pan sizes basically kind of like the same size as a Juvia's palette but yeah these colors are very very pretty okay so this actually just showed up today you guys oh my gosh I'm so excited that I received this from Adept oh my goodness I'm just like ah I cannot wait to dive into this I'm probably gonna play with this tomorrow because that's how excited I am about this. This is their latest release. If I can get it out, hold on. So yeah, this is their latest release, which is the Ninhydrin. Oh my gosh. They sent this to me to try out, show it to you guys, swatch it, all that good stuff. I mean, it's not sponsored or anything. You know, they send me PR and stuff to play with and show you guys, tell you my thoughts. But yeah, this is the Ninhydrin. Oh my gosh. And not a single damaged shadow. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's pretty. Look at her. Look at how gorgeous she is. Yeah, I'm definitely playing with her in the morning. First thing, video. Okay. Oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so I think everything else in my little box is from the boxy pop-up so let's just run through these right quick now in my boxy charm i got one of the um huda beauty pastel palettes i got the lavender one and so i went ahead and picked up the mint one in the pop-up <laughs> because i really like the color story i thought it was gorgeous and wanted to have this along with my lavender one so yeah, I think I'm going to actually enjoy this. I hope I am. I really hope that it's not crap, you know, but it's really pretty. So I'm looking forward to playing with this. And then I also grabbed another OPV palette, the Rainbow Splash. It's so funny, you guys, because all of the OPV palettes that Boxy has had in the pop-up, I've wanted every single one of them, but I didn't purchase them because every time I see them, it's like, ah, uh -huh, they're a little pricey. Then I got to pay for the shipping. So I would just pass on them. And now I'm getting all of the OPV palettes for little to nothing, you know, with free shipping being signed up with Boxy. So it is just crazy that all of these palettes that I wanted, I'm getting them now for, you know, next to nothing. So yeah, this is the Rainbow Splash palette. It's, you know, you guys can obviously see why it is that I wanted this palette and I am so glad that I have it. Oh, she's pretty. If you guys hear my dog barking, I apologize. I don't know who he's barking at right now, but he outside having a fit. Okay, so listen, you guys, I have never 
purchased any of the jewelry from the boxy pop-up but you know this time i said you know what let me check out some of their jewelry and see what they have so this here is actually like a super long necklace let me open this up okay so this first piece here is a necklace and i'm sure you guys probably can't see it that well but it is a double strand necklace and it has so it has two different pieces on it so this first piece here is on this chain that looks like this so very very pretty it's like a little ball that hangs for the short part and then for the longer part it has this kind of like cylindrical piece very blingy very glitzy so both pieces are very very pretty so one is shorter and one is longer so yeah that's very cute very pretty and i also got a couple of sets of earrings i do love earrings all kinds of earrings but these are some really gorgeous um little danglers very very pretty as you can see and these are some more danglers, but they are a little bit longer. Um, very, very pretty. Yeah, those are gorgeous. I'm really glad I got these, actually. Those are really pretty. And I did go ahead and re-up on a few things that I really, really love. A few items that I really love. This one here I just talked about recently. In my shop, my stash, this is the Yenza Pumpkin and Turmeric 2-in-1 Radiance Polishing Mask. I love this stuff, so I did go ahead and grab one more. I had to force myself not to get two, but I really love this mask, so I did buy another one of these. And then I also picked up another Farsali Quench. This is a moisture replenishing serum. I'm actually using this <laughs> in my shop mustache right now as well. So yeah, I got a backup of that. I don't know if you know, you guys know what these look like or if you care, but this is what this Farsali serum looks like. And this is what the Yenza pumpkin and turmeric mask looks like. Very pretty. Now, I also picked up this Marc Jacobs Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. Um, from what I read, it sounded like something that I really wanted to try. <laughs> and, you know, it's Marc Jacobs, okay? So this is what it looks like. Very, very pretty. Sophisticated. Oh, okay. Hello. Let's see if I could pump a little bit out. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Hmm, it doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't even smell like coconut to me. I wonder if it's supposed to. Yeah, it doesn't smell like anything. Um, it feels very moisturizing, very smooth and silky. Let's see, it says instantly impeccable skin soothing makeup macamizer. <laughs> maximizer okay it feels really nice though it feels very moisturizing i think i'm gonna like this next i picked up this banana souffle moisture cream this is a calming and hydrating moisturizer oh how cute <laughs> so this is what this moisturizer looks like let me see if i can smell it oh yeah it has a very slight hint of a scent of banana. So that's what it looks like. It looks very, very creamy. Um, this looks a lot like the moisturizer that I'm using in my shop my stash right now, which is the Marc Jacobs Youth Quake. This looks a lot like that. But um, yeah, very, very slight hint of banana. It looks very good, though. <laughs> it looks very edible. I also picked up this Elemis Gentle Rose Exfoliator. I love exfoliators, and I typically love things that smell like rose. So I'm hoping that I will like this as well. Um, Let's see here. 
smoothing skin polish so it just comes in this nice sleek little tube yeah there's a safety seal so that's good but yeah i'm really looking forward to using this because like i said i love exfoliators and if it truly does smell like roses then i'm probably really really gonna like it i also grabbed this Kors foaming cream cleanser this one is the scent wild rose <laughs> so of course that caught my attention but this is what it looks like it has you know a little safety cap on here to keep it from pumping out but yeah this is a foaming cream cleanser so i'm really excited because i love foam cleansers and it looks like this is going to be nice and creamy and lastly from the pop-up i grabbed this sanaj frios icy globes facial massager <laughs> it's supposed to reduce puffiness and redness okay and these are just really intriguing to me they looked super exciting i've already been playing with these a little bit so they have been on my face you have to struggle to get these things out of here but this is what they look like you know there are the really pretty you know you can put them in the refrigerator or whatever get them nice and cold and you just use these on your face <laughs> and they're so pretty but yeah you use these on your face to kind of help reduce puffiness and you know diminish fine lines and all that good stuff so yeah this is what they look like and it came in a set of two so i don't really think i need both of these i can use one at a time so i'm probably going to give one to my daughter but yeah i think these things are so neat i was playing around with these on my face and it does it feels so good it's already kind of cool but i know if i put this in the refrigerator it's going to feel really really good so excited to play with these and then lastly i almost forgot <laughs> because i do have this kind of sitting here i actually have some of this on today but this is the Jimmy Choo fragrance. What is this called? Yeah, it's called the I Want You. <laughs> the I Want You Eau de Parfum. But yeah, this is the Jimmy Choo perfume. And this bottle is so gorgeous. I bought this because my girl DJ reviewed it on her channel and talked about how amazing and wonderful it is. And then when I saw the bottle, I mean, hello. <laughs> I just couldn't resist so yeah i did grab this i got mine from ulta but it is so beautiful and y'all it smells so amazing if you love different types of perfumes and scents i would suggest you know going and smelling this spraying it you know getting a sample of it whatever but this stuff it smells amazing and it's absolutely beautiful so so glad i picked this up so that is it you guys those are all of the latest items that i have to my beauty skincare fragrance and jewelry collections <laughs> all in one um so hopefully you enjoyed hanging out with me and just checking out the latest things that i got let me know down below um what you think of these items if you have any of them do tell do tell okay and if you're thinking about picking anything up so thanks so much for watching you guys and i will see you on the next one toodles